Prince George is growing up so fast. The future king flashed a toothy ear-to-ear -to -ear grin in new photos taken by mom Kate Middleton in honor of her oldest child's seventh birthday. Though George doesn't celebrate until July 22nd, the palace got a head start on his milestone and dropped two new pics of the youngster one day early. George couldn't look happier wearing a forest green polo in one shot and a camouflage pattern tee in another, while sporting the same side parted blonde locks and adorable smile in both. A palace press release shared that Kate took the snaps earlier this month, and it's far from the first time she's gone behind the camera to honor her children's special days. She's taken birthday portraits for all three kiddos over the years. Prior to George's newest tribute, Kate most recently acknowledged Prince Louis turning two with a colorful look at the youngest Cambridge kiddo getting into some rainbow paint. It's been a busy time for the Duchess and husband Prince William as they homeschool their little ones while quarantining at their home on the Queen's Sandringham estate. It's hard to believe it's been seven years since the couple introduced their firstborn to the world just hours after his 2013 arrival, stepping out of the Lindo wing of London St. Mary's Hospital to greet well-wishers, a tradition Kate followed with their two other newborns. Daily Mail's Charlie Langston told Access Hollywood recently why George's big debut was such a global event. The arrival of a royal baby under any circumstances is always going to be a huge moment. But the arrival of the firstborn child of the future king is obviously a moment that not only demands attention from royal fans, it really demands attention from the world stage. This is the birth of a future king, you know, or it could have been a queen that we are witnessing. And people really did go wild over it. There had been so much speculation about when William and Kate were going to have their first child, whether it was going to be a boy or a girl, where they were going to have their child. And Prince George really was kind of the first major royal birth that we had seen in a little bit of time. And I think the excitement around it just made the UK a wonderful place to be. Thank goodness he was born in the summer because it did mean that people could go outside and celebrate. If it had been in the winter, it probably would have been a bit drizzly. But it really was a momentous occasion in British history and people celebrated it with due respect. They kind of took to the streets, there were banners put up. It was a really wonderful time to be in London and further afield in the UK.